economic survey one of the most awaited document on the state of indian economy each year and maybe uh, one of the most important document for preparation of rbi grade b but in my opinion little hyped in terms of its relevance or importance for rbi grade b i'll discuss all about this in this video be with me for the next 5 to 6 minutes and this can be eye opener for you that how quickly can you cover economic survey by using these tricks and cheat codes that i'm going to tell you and before i start with my presentation i would request you to subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also subscribe to our telegram channel where we keep giving free content the link for which is given in the description of this video now if we talk about economic survey normally there are two volumes of economic survey volume 1 and volume 2 volume 1 is is more of uh, data based uh, whereas volume 2 is more of themes based uh, it also contains data but it is it is more of themes based right so mainly what is important for objective exam is volume 1 that is your objective part of your exam volume 1 is more important though volume 2 can be more important for the descriptive part but it's not necessary that every year they will come out with volume 2 in this video i am mainly going to talk about volume 1 that how it can be relevant for your exam and how can you cover it pretty quickly without wasting too much time on that so first of all what is the importance of economic survey dekhiye uh, prior to 2017 economic survey had huge weightage almost 15 or at least 10 marks worth of paper used to be directly from economic survey but over the last 3 4 years economic survey ka weightage kam hua hai phase 1 mein agar hum objective questions ki baat kare to hardly ek ya do questions directly economic survey mein se aate hain phase 2 mein if i talk about objective essay again hardly 1 to 2 marks worth of questions are asked from economic survey each year and in objective fm almost zero economic survey ka question essay mein hi pucha ja raha hai but yes there is another angle to it now since exam also have a descriptive component economic survey gives you lot of data and uh, perspective on various sectors of economy may it be fiscal policy monetary policy inflation so reading economic survey understanding economic survey can help you in writing good descriptive answers to wahan pe importance hai hi there is no doubt about that to aapko padhna chahiye but Nonetheless, for objective part, I would be telling you that how can you use these cheat codes? जहाँ पे आप economic survey को बहुत easily cover कर सकते हैं और economic survey आपके syllabus में भी है, ठीक है? तो इसलिए भी ये important बन जाता है. If you see your economic syllabus, priorities and recommendations of economic survey and union budget, it is directly given here. So economic survey is directly part of your syllabus. तो अब How to manage economic survey? That is the question, right? Because I told you at the start that economic survey को हम कैसे जल्दी से जल्दी tricks से cover कर सकते हैं. तो सबसे पहले the question is: Is it possible to read the entire economic survey? अगर आप economic survey का PDF खोल के देखें, जो भी मैं आपको खोल के दिखाऊंगा. Now this PDF is worth 442 pages. It is not easy to go through all these pages, but again. If you have interest, if you have time, you should go through it. As I told you, it can help you a great deal in the descriptive paper. So this 442 page document has different chapters like state of Indian economy, fiscal developments, external sector, which is basically about balance of payments, then you no know, monetary management and liquidity in our economy, then prices and inflation, then climate change, agriculture and food management, industry and infrastructure. services social infrastructure and employment so you can see that it covers a lot on various sectors in detail so reading again i am repeating reading this can be useful but itna padhna aasan nahi hai it is going to take lot of time maybe sometimes it is not worth it when you are you no know, reading it only from exam point of view to hum isko कैसे शॉर्टेस्ट पॉसिबल टाइम में कवर कर सकते हैं फॉर दैट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गो ओनली थ्रू पी आई बी समरी एंड पी आर एस समरी अगेन इफ यू आर डूइंग सेल्फ प्रिपरेशन इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फ्रॉम सम कोर्सेज एडू टाइप कोर्स और समथिंग देन ऑब्वियसली नो यू विल हैव सम समरी और सेट ऑफ एमसीक्यूज थ्रू विच यू कैन कवर इवन मोर क्विकली बट अगर आप सेल्फ प्रिपरेशन कर रहे हैं डो नॉट एवर थिंग टू 
know, go through the economic survey in detail if you are short on time. Then PIB summary and PRS summary on economic survey are really good sources. Dekhi, I'm aap isko khol ke dikhata hon. So this is basically key highlights of economic survey on PIB, right? And if you go through it, here also they have given the summary eventually in the same way as the original economic survey. See, state of Indian economy, fiscal development, external sectors, monetary policy and liquidity management, prices and inflation. So, this is chapter wise here summary di hui hai. and uh, they have basically you know, written down all the data. For example, uh, Indian economy estimated to grow at 9.2% in real terms and 7.3% in 2020. 21 and 21-22, 9.2%. GDP, 8 to 8.5% grow. Karegi. So like that, they have given various data points. World Bank or Asian Development Bank ke forecast ke according, what is the GDP growth projected? IMF ke according, what is the GDP growth projected? So, lot of data points are covered on PIB which can help you get the gist of economic survey. But ultimately, it can help you score some really good marks in your exam. So, PIP summary is one source where, where in detail the summary of each and every chapter in the economic survey is given. Another source is PRS. PRS pe bhi jai. So, you will see there is 3 to 4 page document summary. Though this is not directly chapter wise. Thik hai, thoda mix kiya hai, but again, you can read through it. What happens is that sometimes some points in PIB are given which are not there in PRS or some points in PRS are there which are not given in uh, PIB. So, it will help you even cover economic survey more comprehensively by just reading the summary from two sources. Thik hai, in dono ko padhiye, if you have less time, if you want to go through one, then go through PIB. That is the best. Bhoat detail mein chapter wise unhone summary di hui hai. Now, question is, sir, is it sufficient? This question nahi aega. Again, there is no guarantee. They might ask you something in detail which is not given in the summary, but then value for effort, they can see that it is very important. 400 pages, but if you can see that it is very important, I think it is any day a win win situation for you. Now, I will show you proof. Bhi dikha hu iska. Uh, if you want to see a proof, this is a question in a 2021 paper from economic survey that as per economic survey 2020-21 India's real GDP to record a 11% growth in 21-22 and nominal GDP to grow by 15.4% the highest since independence due to so they are saying that India's growth is good to be good what is the reason for this question was asked to two markers the answer was that Rollout of COVID-19 vaccines have gathered traction, option number A, and that is why India is looking to record a good growth, good GDP. Now, this question is summary mein se ho paata hai? Bilkul ho paata hai. If you see the economic survey of 2020-21 from which this question was asked, I will show you directly this line aapke usme given. Hai. Ye dekhye. India's real GDP to record 11% growth in 21-22 and nominal GDP to grow by 15.4%, the highest is independence. The same line di likhi hui hai, and from this only they have asked the question in the exam and the answer was eventually what is written in the next line that rebound is led by continued normalization is in economic activities as the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines gather other direction. Okay, so clear hai that due to COVID-19 vaccine uh, gathering traction, we are poised to generate a good GDP. This was the question and the answer and I have shown you the proof that how it could be done from the summary. Har bar nahi hoga, lekin kaafi bar summary mein se aap answer kar paayenge. That is the trick, that is the cheat code you have to rely on. Maybe there is a certain risk, but I think this is risk worth taking it. Taking it. So, I hope this would have given you a good idea that how to read economic survey in the shortest possible time and not wasting time on reading that 400 pages worth of document rather using that time to revise your current affairs which is very very important revision is the key ठीक है तो जाते जाते ये offer बता रहा हूँ एक last sale है और last day है today RBI gold और silver package पे flat 40% off is going on you can use code flat 40 the code expires midnight today. Okay, 12 tak hai, flat 40 karke, you can avail 40% discount. This is on RBI gold and silver package. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Jai Bharat. Jai Hind.